My name is TJ. I have Care to Thomas. My vision was getting, uh, I should say I had keratoconus for roughly, it's been 10 years since I was diagnosed, and my vision was getting to a point where I was having great difficulty driving at night. Hard contact lenses were always uncomfortable for me. I was actually using a soft contact lens first and then putting a hard contact lens over it. Uh, my right eye, my left eye was contact lens intolerant. Uh, and eyeglasses were losing um, their efficacy for me. So I was starting to face the reality that within a year, you know, potentially two years, glasses might not be a solution at all, even during the day. And for sports and activities, I was already suffering. A lot of research went into that. Uh, obviously in the U.S. a lot of stuff isn't necessarily published on cross-linking because it's not yet uh, an approved procedure, which I could go on for hours about how I disagree with that. But um, we do have a, a few doctors that do some experimental procedures based around the epithelial, uh, yeah, epithelial on um, cross-linking. And while researching that, I came across several people that had made the journey to Greece um, to see Dr. Kenilopoulos. And their outcomes were staggering, like amazing. Uh, the procedure itself, the recovery time is a little bit more, um, but the results and the science behind it, not having to use intacts and having it be a more proven, uh, time-tested solution made a lot of sense. Very positive. Um, the facility is amazing, uh, extremely nice. The staff is all very, very pleasant. Um, everyone speaks great English, which is, is excellent for me because my Greek is extremely limited. Um, but overall, I can't, I couldn't have hoped for a better experience. research before coming in so I asked a lot of uh, pointed questions um, based around you know what my recovery time was going to look like and um, some of the potential risks for uh, the, the procedure because in my case um, my right cornea is a little bit thinner than preferred uh, and the doctor was extremely honest with me and gave me uh, 99, 90 to 95 percent chance of improvement in the left eye and 80 percent chance of improvement in my right eye uh, along with uh, a greatly reduced uh, chance of having to go the path of a corneal transplant at some point in the future. And for me, since I'm uh, an athlete, that's, that's very important um, to, to try and maintain uh, my original corneal integrity as long as possible. It's honestly, I, I can't say enough about the, the level of honesty that Dr. Kamalpos has. I mean, he just really went through all of the pros, any potential cons, he kind of almost, um, any follow-up questions I had, he'd say, well, if you ask this, you probably want to know about this, this, and this before I can even think it. So, I was extremely impressed. roughly 20 minutes total for both eyes. No. The procedure is completely painless. The PRK portion of it, you don't feel a thing. The cross-linking, um, your eyes are open for a little bit and uh, you can start to sometimes feel a little bit of an itchy sensation, at which point you can get numbing drops. So. Um, there was no pain whatsoever. The biggest drawback to the, the PRK and cross-linking um, with the epithelial off um, would be the, the post-operation discomfort, especially the first night. Uh, it was extremely, uh, it was extremely uncomfortable. 
Uh, it's a very bad night pain-wise, but I knew this going into it, uh, and I think that anyone in my situation could appreciate um, maybe one night of bad pain uh, instead of years of dealing with increasingly um, difficult contact lens where we're having to switch the lenses out every three hours because they're uncomfortable and not able to see, not able to drive at night. So one night of pain to gain back my functionality, well worth it. Um, right now, it's been about five days, so my eyes are, are healing, uh, just four days, they're, they're healing on par, which means that today my, my vision's a little bit foggy because the epithelial is healed back over. But uh, the recovery is one to three months. Um, the doctor said that you know, I'll probably potentially be looking at either a very light glasses script or soft contact lenses or maybe not at all. So my biggest hope with this procedure was that in three months, I won't have to wear hard contacts, or at least you know, be very uh, minimal in my need of them, maybe just for driving at night. And all signs point to the positive that I will probably have a fantastic outcome. So I'm very happy that I made this decision. I'm very happy with the procedure. Definitely look into it, contact Dr. Kenelopoulos, uh, the sooner the better. Uh, I see a lot of people that <clears throat> state if you can correct your vision uh, and achieve good visual parity with hard contact lenses to just go that path as long as possible. Um, and I think there's some merit to it, but the issue is that as you're waiting and as your vision is degrading, your cornea is thinning, um, so your outcomes from the procedure um, get not to say that they still wouldn't be good, but they get less optimal as time goes on. It's definitely something that uh, the earlier the better, and the procedure is such a snap, and the science is so sound that I wish I had had it done years ago, and it's just unfortunate that the United States isn't there yet.